tells us in Acts chapter 2 on the birthday of the church. A lot of people just bypass this and, and uh, act like this has no significance or importance. But on the very birthday of the church, Peter preached at Pentecost in Jerusalem. And the Word of God said, Now when they heard this, in Acts chapter 2, verse 37, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit for the promises to you, and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. And this is the New King James Version that I'm reading from, rather than the King James. But the Word of God makes it clear what we're to do. doesn't say, pray a prayer after me. doesn't say, come down to the altar and shake the preacher's hand. It says, repent and be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what purpose? For the remission of sins. I mean, Peter broke it down. He, he made it very clear. There was no ambiguity here. And we know when you read through the history of the early church throughout the book of Acts, over and over and over again, and we've gone through it, all of us have gone through this, I've gone through it with all of you, every single conversion experience we read of in the Word of God is immediately followed by the act of obedience and faith. That is, water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. This is an act of faith. It's not a matter of earning your salvation through works. That's not what this is. If God says stand on your head and yodel, then he expects you to stand on your head and yodel. And this is not a matter of you're doing something to earn salvation. This is a matter of God says, if you believe, do this. And this is that action which God has prescribed, which is an expression of our faith, and it's putting feet on our faith. In James chapter 2, the Word of God said, Faith without works is dead, being alone. Faith without action is meaningless. means nothing. That's what, that's what James said. This is the action that God prescribes. Not We don't approach God on whatever terms we want to approach God on. We approach the Lord on His terms. And he says, here's how I want you to come to me. Repent and be baptized. Jesus said in Mark 16, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. The Apostle Paul wrote and said <coughs> that uh, it is in this way, he said, that we are even saved now through water baptism. And he actually attributes and places salvation with water baptism. So this is an act of faith that God has prescribed. So we're going to do this real quick because I know it's kind of cool. The water's going to be a little cool. So I'm going to get you in here. I'm going to ask you two quick questions. The first one is, you enter the waters freely and of your own will to be baptized today. And you just say yes. And then your full name is Joshua? Robert. Okay. And your June, Joan? Louise Gerwig. Okay. Robert, you, I might have to ask you again because I'm that good with names. But anyway, and then I just go through a little thing so you can make a declaration of faith. I ask you a few questions, and you just, at the end of it, you just say, yes, I do, or something like that. Okay? Talk It's cold. I'm sorry, what was that? It's cold. Until we get to you. Do you want us both in at the same time or just one at a time? No, no, one at a time. That way you guys don't have to freeze to death. That way there's only one. We'll make it quick one so it won't one. take too long. <laughs> well, that's that's scary. Scary. Oh, my goodness. It won't be bad. Come on. It's not. Once you get in, I mean, honestly, once you get in for about 30 seconds, it feels relatively comfortable. So who's first? Uh, I was in here who's earlier. first? Nice try. Uh, yes, Josh will go first. Oh, you never seen it. Honestly, once you get in, it's not bad. I'm serious. Well, no, I thought you were going to ask me the question. No, no, I'm going to ask you once you oh, get in. Oh, yeah. Once you get in. I don't remember why. I don't remember. Except for it was a baptismal in a church. Church of God. All you have to do is kind of hold your hands like that. Well, hey, with the whole water, it's easier to see. It'll feel a lot more comfortable here in a second. And it's Joshua Robert. 
Robert Sasa. Okay. Joshua, I ask you, do you enter these waters today freely and of your own will to be baptized? Yes. Do you believe today that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, that he lived a sinless life, died on the cross of Calvary for your sins, rose again on the third day, and will one day return for his church? I do. Okay. Upon your declaration of faith, I now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. <laughs> Congratulations. Praise the Lord. It's cool. But it's not, it really isn't too bad. It's not that bad. It's really, once you stand here for a few seconds, literally, it feels comfortable. Yep. It just takes that few seconds to adapt. But once you adapt, it's worth my quarter. You want me to push it? Hey, it's Yay. Oh, it's not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, now. Those who had come to Jerusalem to hear, uh, to celebrate Pentecost, which was the celebration of the first fruits, uh, they had come to celebrate the Pentecost, and as they heard all the commotion coming out of the upper room, and they heard all this noise, and people acting like a bunch of drunks, and that they asked the question, well, men and brethren, after they heard Peter preach, they said, men and brethren, what must we do? What shall we do? And many churches today have many different answers to that question. They say, well, what do I have to do? And Peter answered it very plainly and very clearly. He said in Acts, and I'm going to read verse 37 as well. Now, when they heard this, meaning Peter's preaching, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He clearly articulates what they were to do. They were to repent, be baptized, receive the Holy Ghost. But when he spoke of baptism, he also expounded a little bit further. He told them, how they were to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He told them why they were being baptized for the remission of sins. Now there's a lot of churches and a lot of groups and a lot of preachers and a lot of people who try to twist scripture and make it say everything except for what it says. But it's so clear. And that's why it's so important that we obey this mandate. Because God has spoken it. He didn't leave it foggy and uncertain. No, Peter literally broke it down point for point. So you understood how you were to be baptized. You understood exactly what name, what term you were to use when being baptized, and why you were being baptized. It's not just an outward profession of an inward conversion. There's more to it than that. It's through the obedience. We don't have faith in the water. There's nothing magical about the water. We can use any water anywhere because it's not about the water. It has nothing to do with the water. The power for the remission of sins is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Peter said also in Acts 4 that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Because that's where the power is. That's where. So that's where our importance is today. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're going to go into the water and do this. Whichever you want to miss for you. Yeah. It's very warm. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. It's nice and warm. You can wait, Mary. Yeah, we'll let you. We'll do it one at a time. Isn't it nice? Yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah. 
But this is cause today for great rejoicing. Go that way. Go that way. This is cause for great rejoicing when people obey the mandate of God's word. And we do, you know, sometimes folks don't want to admit, well, maybe I didn't do it right last time. Well, folks don't mind admitting that about marriages. They don't mind admitting that about where they live. They don't mind admitting that about the car they bought. They don't mind admitting that about uh, the relationships they're in. But when it comes to the things of God, people want to sometimes be stubborn. And they say, well, bless God, I did it this way, and I think that's fine. But honey, if God told me to stand on my head and yodel amazing grace, guess what? I'm going to stand on my head and yodel amazing grace. Anyway, uh, Penny Broadwater, I'm going to ask you two questions, honey. Have you come to this water freely and of your own will to be baptized today? Oh, absolutely. And uh, do you believe that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, uh, lived a sinless life, died on the cross of Calvary for you and me, rose again on the third day, and will one day return for his church? Oh, yes. Amen. Penny, upon your profession of faith, you can upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Mary, this pool kind of slopes a little bit, so I've got to be careful. I don't. <laughs> we'll be on the deep end. And, uh, okay? Yeah, it's Mary's turn. <laughs> Careful. I told you I'm so bad with names. Amen. Mary, have you entered these waters today freely and of your own will to be baptized? Do you believe that Jesus Christ was one of the born of the Virgin Mary, lived a sinless life, died on the cross of Calvary for you and me, rose on the third day, and will one day return for his church? Amen. Amen. Mary Frost, upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless you. You okay? I know that it slopes real fast there. Amen. Praise God. You okay? Amen. Praise God. Amen. What a joy. Isn't it a thrill? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 